All right, can I get the Grimace birthday meal? Grimace's birthday? Hey Alexa! When did McDonald's release Grimace's birthday on the Game Boy Color? Grimace's birthday is a McDonald's Game Boy Color game to celebrate Grimace's birthday, released on June 12th, 2023. What? Okay, a Game Boy Color game that was released in the year 2023? We've gotta check this out. Okay, so first things first, we get to pick our control scheme. Wait a minute, phone? I can play this on my phone? Hold on, where was the box at? Let me take a look here. Well, sure enough, that's a Type-C port, and the other end is a GameCube port. That's a first. I'd have never in my life would have thought that I could hook a smartphone up to a GameCube. So, I guess this end goes in here, and the GameCube goes into the GameCube. Okay, wow. And sure enough, here are the controls on the phone. And I mean, they work, but if I'm honest, I think I would just rather use a controller. All joking aside, this ROM can be played directly on the website that the developer, Cruel Toys, set up just for the game. Just go to GrimacesBirthday.com on your phone or computer and you can play Grimace's Birthday. Now since we're opening up and being honest here, I have to tell you, there is no physical release of the game Grimace's Birthday. I made the box, I made the label to go on the cart, the wire is actually just a regular USB to USB-C. So I'm sorry to shatter that illusion so early, but I could not think of a proper time to tell you guys, and I didn't want to put any ideas out there that you could go to McDonald's and actually get a game box. All right, well, let's jump right in. I'm gonna go in on hard mode. I can't imagine this game truly being that difficult. It's Grimace's birthday. Oh, name drop. Name drop the name of the game right there in the first sentence, right here. See it? Done. Well, we can all go home. They said the name of the game. We're done here. He's throwing the party of the year at McDonald's, but he needs to round up Birdie, Hamburglar, and the McNugget buggies before it's time to blow his candles out. The only problem is they're nowhere to be found. Oh my God. They're all gone. Never to be seen again. <laughs> Where is everybody? SMH. Just, just S in my damn H. So that's the premise. Our friends are missing and we need to find them. Also, gather special birthday shakes. All right. I peaked when I got invited to my friend's McDonald's birthday party and have been chasing that high since. That's a peak? Hey Grimace, I'm pretty sure I saw the Hamburglar make a run for- Wait a second, hold up. Who the hell is this? I've never seen this McDonald's character before. So after doing a little bit of research, I did not find any McDonald's characters that looked like this. But the logo on her shirt very clearly says toys. So I looked into Cruel Toys staff, and while I'm not certain of it, I think this character is supposed to be or be based on Tia Chennai, the co-founder of Cruel Toys. Sorry if I butchered your name. But the rabbit hole goes deeper, my friends. For you see, during my research, I found that if you go to the website that Cruel Toys set up to play Grimace's birthday online, you can find a link that leads back to their homepage. This is where I had started looking for information. While clicking around, I found a spot that leads to their terms of service. On that page, you can find two reference links. One is a typical contact us, but the other and much more interesting link leads to a page on DIY animatronics. Clicking it takes you to Nightmare Town, where you can start building your very own Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Simple robotic hands, animatronic eyes, talking animatronic robot heads, simple animatronics with servos, humanoid robot arm, and... What the hell are they looking into? Alright, well we got a little bit off track there, so let's get back into the game. Anyway, she tells you to go look for your missing friends, but also get food and shakes. I couldn't even imagine a situation like that, where someone would just come up to me and be like, Yeah, hey, so your friends are missing. They're probably in danger, kidnapped by a masked man to bring them to a deep web red room, never to be seen again. You can't call the cops or anything, so you gotta go see if you can find them. Oh, and don't forget to bring me some food, please. I am starving. Priorities, you know? The first level has us cruising around on a skateboard. The A button ollies, or jumps around. Your goal is to gather as many shakes as you can while avoiding obstacles. 
Sometimes shakes will be high up in the air, requiring that you grind rails to get to them. This can be done by jumping onto a rail and holding up or down on the D-pad. If you're playing the game on easy mode, Grimace will automatically grind for you. Oh, whoa. I'm sorry, are those skateboard wheels on top of the board? Yeah, look, they definitely are. Okay, so that's called the dark slide or dark side grind, however you want to pronounce it. But basically, it's where you grind on the grip tape. So I have the skateboard here to show you. Typically when you grind, it'll be across the trucks or across the middle or the tail or whatever, but a dark slide grind, but a dark slide requires you to grind on the grip tape. And if you've never felt this, it's basically sandpaper. So not an easy trick, but I do want to show you what it looks like. So come outside with me. So a dark slide simply looks like this. I don't know how to skateboard. Joking aside, this is what a dark slide looks like by people who do know what they're doing. Oh! So yeah, kind of a technical trick. I can't believe that Grimace has gone pro over the years, I guess. Well, anyway, you can also do a kickflip by hitting A to Ollie and then hitting B immediately after. Kickflips really seem to only increase your overall score and don't really help with movement as far as I can tell. Your obstacles include McDonald's trash cans and then the rails themselves. Well, at least for level 1-1. One, 1-2 one. One, kicks the complexity up by adding a ton of different floors, springboards, toxic gas leaks. Oh my. The level's way bigger too. Damn, really soaring up the difficulty curve, huh? Well, relatively, it's still not too bad. That said, hitting any of those obstacles the wrong way will cause Grimace to fall flat on his face and... Oh shit. God damn. Why didn't anyone tell me that Grimace was caked up like that? It, the joke's too obvious. Eating the cake... I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to make that joke. I'm, I'm good. I'm, in fact, I'm gonna put the cake down. Level 2-1 starts with another Twitter quote. If you got to have a birthday party at McDonald's, you're hot now. At Eleanor155151... Are these real accounts? Like, are these real tweets? Did somebody actually... Let me, let me look this up, actually. Okay, so Eleanor's account joined Twitter June 2023, and the tweet is real, but what about the other one? At Hamill Liam. Well, the account is real, but the tweet doesn't seem to exist. Well, moving on. At least it's not a forced exchange between two corporate characters. So Birdie sends Grimace a text telling him that she got her dumbass tangled up in the telephone wires. Wait, for real? How? The McNugget buddies dared me to jump off the roof with some balloons, and I totally sent it. X D O M G K O M W. Ugh. Look, I XD just as much as the next nerdy millennial that doesn't give a shit about what cringe is, okay? But I hate it. I don't know what it is about corporate characters like this when they try to talk millennial or Gen Z just to try to have a connection with their consumers. Forced dialect like this, it, it, I don't have a connection with. I don't feel a connection with this. And I was there for all the RARs, XDs, OOs, equal threes that you could possibly imagine, okay? But seeing corporate characters talk like this never works, all right? It's not relatable. It's not good. Dare I say it's cringe? cringe. I'm giving way too much of a shit about this. <laughs> Since we're on the rooftops here to go help Birdie, Grimace ditches the skateboard. Instead, we're going classic side-scroller as we navigate through a new set of obstacles. There's monster squirrels that we can jump off of, rogue McDonald's helium balloons for extra points, loose telephone wires for us to jump higher, and these suspicious-looking birds. Look at him. He's looking around to make sure that no one is watching him. He's definitely up to some sketchy shit. I am watching you, okay? And of course, there's plenty of purple shakes for us to collect. Tastes like blueberry. I, I don't know if it's, it's like purple, but like blueberry, I, I don't know. Blueberries are fucking purple! Something I haven't mentioned yet is the quality of the soundtrack. It is gushing with that classic Game Boy Color goodness. And this level's music is probably my favorite. I love that its composition includes the McDonald's jingle as a supplemental sound rather than the full composition of this or any of the other tracks in the game. I mean, listen. Level 2-2 introduces a couple new obstacles. There are these giant balloons that can somehow hold Grimace's weight, and are nice enough to pop when, and only when, Grimace jumps off of them. I'd love to think about how the physics of that is supposed to work, but I'm too busy dealing with this stage's other obstacle, pissed off attack pigeons. 
Is this why that other bird was looking so sketchy? Was he trying to make sure that he could invade this city with his attack pigeons without anyone noticing? Enemies up to this point could still damage you, yeah, but for the most part, they've been relatively passive. Now we have to deal with an active threat. Well, active until they've flown straight past you. Much like a baby, these pigeons lack object permanence, so as soon as they soar past you and you are out of their line of sight, they completely forget about you, just pff, gone. But yeah, once you're out of their eyesight, to them, you no longer exist, which is why they don't turn back around to finish what they started. But hold on, we're still not done. Now that we know about the attack pigeons, we have to go through the rest of the level floating around in one of these soda bubbles. Since we know that these fucking birds are hostile, we are well aware that they could cast us to our demise if we let them pop the only thing keeping us safe from a heavy landing on the pavement below. Do you know what this means? Each level has had something new to offer and a theme that they could build upon to keep the game feeling fresh. That is a sign of good game design. And that's something I didn't think I'd be able to say about some gimmicky McDonald's video game in the year 2023. I mean, the variety of levels was great, the gameplay was simple yet effective, everything felt fresh, the graphics great to look at, the music nostalgic and calls back to an excellent time of Game Boy Color games decades ago. What is happening here? Have you ever had a McDonald's... <laughs> Have you ever had a dream? That you, you... That you, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do... I just... <laughs> Have you ever had a McDonald's birthday party, or has your whole life been boring? At Christian Cola. <laughs> yeah, this is a real account, too. And the tweet is real. I don't know why I'm still looking into this. Well... There's a special game at the end that you can play, and it would feel criminal if I were to spoil it, especially considering the game is so short and sweet, so I recommend you just download the ROM somewhere and try it out yourself and see what I'm talking about. The credits roll, and we've beaten Grimace's birthday. Oh wait, that was the last tweet that we just looked at. Okay, so he was involved with the game somehow. I, it makes sense. There are two other game modes that you can play, and they're relatively straightforward. Score Attack puts you into a confined skate park where you can grind, kickflip, and skate to a high score within the time limit. There are 20 presents that you can grab, each granting 6 seconds of time each. But if you'd rather just skate around and waste a little time in the skate park, then Free Skate is for you. No time limit, no collectibles, just you, Grimace, and the board. So in conclusion, K. Real Games released something really, really cool, really, really fun, and it just goes to show you that with simple, good design, even a Game Boy Color game in 2023 can be fun to play, can be really good. It's no Tony Hawk Pro Skater, but, you know, it doesn't have to be. When the game first came out, I thought it was just a meme, but I'm really glad I took the time to check it out, and I hope you guys check it out yourselves. So Grimace, happy birthday, buddy, and I hope you have a good year. I'm <laughs> <laughs>